Yes, I started at 7.30 in the morning. Just when I was getting the hang of things. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. Our power blew. Old school 1969 machine right now is powered by the sun. It is not. You're in for a treat this episode. Hi, my name is Kenna and this is Jay. We live aboard our Choi Lee Offshore 41. Her name is Sitka. Currently, we are sailing and exploring our beautiful home here on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. I'm new to sailing, but I'm learning and loving it more and more each day. Jay, on the other hand, was born a salty sailor. As he takes me under his wing to get ready to sail around the world, join us on our adventure of falling in love with the beauty of life and the wonders of each other. Welcome to the story of us. And welcome to Sailing Sitka. Hello, good morning. I hope everyone is doing fantastic. We're gonna be sewing cockpit cushions today. Um, viewer discretion is advised because I have not sewn. That's a lie, I have sewn in high school. Um, do I remember any of it? No, not at all, or even in the slightest. So uh, it's gonna be a struggle. And I'm just gonna take you guys along with me. So you're in for a treat this episode. Okie dokie. So I have my sail right video going as a reference. I had the cushions cut out and they're in there. Um, and then this is sunbrella material that I will be using that we had a lot left over for and that's where I'm at the moment. So I'm cutting out the top plate, bottom plate, and the sides that I will be using for each cushion and then timesing it by two for the two long lazarettes. And then we're gonna have a middle cushion at the back as well. Alrighty, so it is all traced and then I added a quarter inch here on all of the sides. Yeah, which so I'm doing boxing now which is the cutouts around the cushion for the outside. And I'm going by the sail right video again. And pretty much I'm doing um, one long side and then one long side with a zipper. And then two short sides. So four boxing around, it's like a square, right? So how you determine the width or the height, I should say, is of the foam and then you add half an inch for the um, for the sewing and then with measuring the zipper plaque boxing width it's you same thing so it would be our foam is two inches so two inches plus half an inch is two and a half and then you measure how thick your zipper is as well and then you add that so ours is um, an inch and a half so then we'll add an inch and a half to that as well. And that is how you cut out the boxing strips. I'm the worst at explaining things, so I'm sorry, but stay tuned. So this side is going to be my zipper plaque boxing width side. So I just wanted to show you guys what I meant. So here I have all my zippers that I bought. And so you pretty much just you measure I cannot do this with one hand oh my god how does they do these things okay oh my lord Jesus H you guys this is just is just this is just horrible oh I can set this up holy lord ha okay <laughs> let's set that up. so <laughs> you measure the width of the zipper and again I've told you guys this is it's a it's an inch and a half and it is it is not it's it's an inch and a quarter oh my goodness please don't come at me in the comments that I can't read a measuring tape okay yeah because that would be half. So, okay, okay. An inch and a quarter. <laughs> Let me just say, Sailrite, bless you, okay? Bless 
that you have this fraction and decimal converter table. Whoever did that was a smart cookie because now I just got my measurements. Please nobody think I'm dumb. I cannot do math, okay? Don't come for me. It's just not one of my strong suits. Anyway, 3.75, which is 3 and... 3 fourths. <laughs> 3 fourths? Yeah. 3 and 3 four, three and 3 and 3 quarters for the boxing, which I'll measure right now. At home from work on my lunch break, and what's my love doing? My love is sewing cushions! Yeah! So this is like some umbrella material that I've had on the boat since I bought the boat like six years ago. It came with a huge roll, and now Ken is putting it to use. So we got some uh, exterior grade foam, so you can tell it's a uh, it's like porous, so water can just go right through it. And uh, so it's already pre-cut to width-wise, but we need to cut the length-wise. I did already. Oh, you did already. Yeah. Oh, nice. And then she's cutting all the sides and patterning everything. And then, uh, yeah, and then we'll get to test the beast out. You're doing good, my lad. <coughs> By the way, this is Kenneth's first sewing project. And I have zero experience with sewing, so basically we're going in this pretty blind. <laughs> I have spent one hour figuring out how to thread this machine, but I got it. And I would like to share it with you. So I got her all the way threaded, but I figured out that I need to learn how to wind the bobbin first. So now I'm going to learn how to wind a bobbin. Ooh, it's so exciting. So I'm going to bring this thread instead of through all of this jazz here, I'll bring it straight down into this little guy, which I'm pretty sure tensions the thread. It's a tension disc. And I'll be able to put it through here and wind my bobbin. So let's see if that works. I'm going to put it through. Oh, Christ. I'm going to put it through one of these bad boys, I think. Wait. No, through the middle. Is this right? Don't think so. Wouldn't that be right? Oh, there's a little. Okay. There's that little thing there. Just look. Does that lock? Oh, it does. Oh, this is just brutal! Um, push bobbin winder against hand wheel. So. I want to say that looks right, but I don't have any reference to what looks right and doesn't, so um, we're going to go with that. And then it says hold thread and loosely, loosely, and start machine slowly. Okay, well, we're going to see um, if I did this accurately, because I'm just, at this point, um, winging it. So, I don't know if this is going to work, baby. Ready? Okay, so it wrapped on the outside. Cut. I'll be back. Okay, uh, I think I have it now. I think I just had it threaded wrong on the bobbin. Okay, I don't know. Let's just. I'm so tired. <laughs> I've been doing this since 7:30. <laughs> this is hard. It's fine. You learn things, and then you gather knowledge. Reminder. Okay. Please, dear Jesus, H. So. Ah! Is it working? This is so scary. I can't tell. Did it do it? I really can't tell. Is it wrapping on the...
freaking inside? Why won't it stay? This is the question I want answered. Oh my god, I think, I think, I think, I think. Ah! Hmm. I think I got it. I'm freaking doing it! Oh my god, that's so cool. That's so cool. Ah! Okay, it is five to three. And um, I got everything threaded. And yes, I started at 7.30 in the morning. Most of that was cutting out the templates, but this did take me genuinely two and a half hours so um i would love if it was appreciated right now look at that anyway she is ready to go i have my templates and yeah okay i just want to show you guys what my next step is what i did was i folded it in half and then i measured half of the width of my zipper <laughs> so um it was five eighths on the measuring tape <laughs> sorry i'm laughing because i just like i hate math um anyway how i got that um i'm going by the sale right video so i can't explain that but you uh so just a straight line down that and then you're gonna open it up like so like this so then that this width is the whole width of your zipper so like see and so when i sew this zipper on it's going to open from here and then i'm going to take a um this cutter majiggy thingy and i'll open it from this side so then it's a nice clean open for the zipper right here anyway Supposedly it's supposed to be like that, but just when I was getting the hang of things, our power blue. So this is what I'm working with since our power is out. There's a new condo building getting built across the street, so. Kenna messaged me while I was at work saying like the power's off and nothing that normally works is working to come back on. So I'm like, I told my boss, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go home like early for lunch to like see what's going on. And then I get here and then she had figured out in the meantime that there's basically a new condo getting built and they're putting new electrical poles. So the power's off till four. And then I was like, well, there's tons of sun, got solar power. Let's plug in the inverter and let's get this ma machine from 69. So this old school 1969 machine right now is powered by the sun. <laughs> it's actually pretty rad. Let's go. Let's go, baby! Big Daddy Safari out! How cute is she right now? Stop. Seriously, honey. My heart. <laughs> Ooh, a little backstitch action. God damn, mama! Ooh, high speed, low drag, baby. Keep up. Keep up, buttercup. And can you tell everyone what's going no. on? And this is real life TV. Someone's stupid. Someone's stupid? Sewing is. So, someone's stupid. People sewing is apparently stupid. I think Kenna's doing a great job. It's just this foot doesn't really open that high, so when she's doing the zippers, it tends to want to grab onto the zipper and then bring the stitching so close to the zipper that it 
kind of ruins the the whole fancy stitching she's trying to do which would have little flaps hiding the zipper I think she's doing a great job what do you guys think let us know in the comments oh my god I look bad okay massive victory massive 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 victory I did it I so sewed sewn I sewn a zipper I freaking did it I've never been so proud of myself finally after trial and error I have completed one of the three cushions and I'm actually quite impressed with myself and I just wanted to show you I was gonna wait until the whole cockpit was done but I'm just like too excited so here we go there she is Okay, I finished the one of the three cushions and I just have such a feeling that Jay is going to be like pretty proud of me. So I want to catch his reaction on camera. Um, he's just at the boat store right now. Surprise. And I'll try to catch his reaction when he comes in. Oh, daddy. Hun, that looks so good. Holy smokes. Hun, that's sick. Hun, that looks sick. Hun, that's so dope. Hun, it looks like professional. No, it doesn't. It does. No. Hun. I did the fancy zipper. You did? Yeah, the other side. Hun, <laughs> this is fucking good. <laughs> this is so good. Thank you, my love. Oh my god. It w it was a bit bigger than I thought, but Man, you did okay. so good. Wow! If that's your first one, it might be in business. We're starting a sewing business. Oh my god! No, and Daddy, honey, <laughs> I got your turn. <gasps> there you go. Ah! How did I get that on video? Oh my god, he's so amazing! Thank you, man. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh or cry, honestly. Um, I just woke up and I went to go check on <laughs> my new cushion I made yesterday. <laughs> um, I'll show you guys it. So I guess an otter wanted to leave us a little gift this morning. Yeah, so this is what I'm what I'm not only dealing with, but um, having to face for my new cushions that I literally just sewn yesterday, and it gets severely worse over here. So. Not quite how I wanted to start my morning. It is like 7.30 in the morning right now. Okay, so um, I have shown you guys the zipper um, instructions prior to this. So I just finished the second zipper for the second cushion. So relatively went well. So I just wanted to show you guys um, where to go from that step on. So what you do is you lay out your fabric um, on the floor here and what you want to do is make sure that the sides that you're sewing are facing inward, if that makes sense. Um, in the sail right video, it just explains that you want all of the nice surface facing in. So um, same with this one. So they're gonna be sewn together like 
See? I'm going to sew all the outer ledges together, including the zipper, and then it's a lot easier to then sew the top plate and the bottom plate onto them like C. So, um, I'm sorry I'm not the best at explaining, but I will try to film myself sewing. And just like that. Okay, so I just sewed my boxing, as you can see. And now I'm just going to connect it to the um, top plate that I'm going to do here. So just matching the corners, matching the top. And um, I'll show you guys what that looks like before I do the bottom plate. But yeah. So here I'm just making sure that um, all of the sides that I did make like line up properly. It's looking like it's how I wanted it. I'm double checking this because trial and error, I did not check this on the last one and I actually accidentally flipped the fabric to the wrong side that I wanted it sewn on. So um, I had to rip it all out and do it again. So um, it's always good to just take that extra step if it's going to save you a lot of time in the long run. boxing is sewn on as you can see so uh, like again this is not the good side it's gonna be flipped inside out um, but yeah so all done it's all one now and then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna open this up and sew the back plate flush like so So there you go. Not the prettiest, but that's what it looks like when you flip it the other way. So the ultimate question is, is it going to fit the foam that we ordered? That is the big question. So let's see. It would be horrible if I got this on video and then I didn't fit. My last one fit, so I'm hoping this one does. <laughs> That's snug snug. <laughs> so, there you have it. Does she close? Oh, daddy. So there you have it. That's my cockpit cushions. I'm doing one third small one. Um, but yeah, this one's even better than the first one. So quite happy with myself. So now I'm just going to mark um, how big I want this cushion here as accurately as I can. Oh hey, didn't see you there. So this is day three of cushion cockpit um, project. So let's get into it. Not gonna bore you guys with the details because clearly I've done it twice now. So let's 
get this uh, third cushion pounded out and let's see the end results already. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, let's go. <laughs> have it you guys that is my cockpit cushion renovation or like how to video I don't know what you want to call it whatever you want to call it I did it and I hope you enjoyed it if you ever want to make cockpit cushions just freaking do it it's actually very rewarding I'm quite proud of myself even though I started from scratch and didn't know what the heck I was doing and I'm rambling like Jay usually does. But anyway, thanks you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed. And go make comfy cockpit cushions if you have the freaking chance. Okay, cheers!